see you were able to come to the conference about your son, um, your son's grades. Well, Mr. Mann, I had to take off early from work, so I guess it's very important. It's about my, tons, my son's test scores. Well, I have bad news for you. It seems that Walter got a two on the reading test, and that means he has to be left back. I know it's going to be tough on him, but rules are rules. Wait, you say that he got a two? Well, then explain to me how come it says that he got a three right here on this report right here. Well, it seems that the people who made the tests, um, that was a little mistake. Oh, oh, Mr. Mann, from what I hear from some folks down at the school who go to school with Walter, they made a lot of mistakes. Well, that may be true, but I really, that's... And you know, I've been reading the newspapers, yeah. and... They say that the people who do this job for the public schools made over 61,000 mistakes. Now, Mr. Mann, that's a lot of mistakes. You know, I thought the mayor was in charge of everything that goes on in the schools. Shouldn't he be responsible for this? The mayor stands behind everything that goes on, including your son's education. How far behind is that? Well, anyway, I wouldn't call what happened really a lot of mistakes. But you did, Mr. Man. You called them mistakes. Now, are you searching for a better word to use, like screw-ups, mess-ups, or F-word-ups? Uh, well, the test your son took was easier than what he needed to learn, so the people who made up the test decided that they needed to make them harder. When Walt took the same kind of test... The mayor said that everything, everybody was doing great. Nobody had anything to say about the test. Now there's a problem? Well, it seems that we're trying to give your son the best education possible. Educate him to do what, Mr. Man? I mean, when I went to school, we talked about the things that we learned, like music, art, history. Now all I hear from Walt is, got to prep for these tests. Got to prep for these tests. Tell me, Mr. Man, what do you want out of Walt? What do you want out of his education? For him to be a professional test taker? Oh, no, not, not really. What we want is for him to learn by getting a measure of what his uh, best, best way for him to improve his, his reading and his math. These are essential skills he needs in order to advance his education. And you think that you're going to be able to gauge that by these tests? that change whether it's too high or too low. We have people who make up the tests who are experts and, and they really know what they're doing. Well, Mr. Man, how do you know what they're doing? If you can't sit here and explain to me what they're doing, how do you know what they're doing? I have faith that the mayor and the chancellor are doing the best and are committed to your son's education. <laughs> I think that they should be committed. Hello, and, Hi. and thank you for coming. I know it wasn't easy for you to get here considering your work schedule. Well, thank you so much for giving me flex time. You wanted to talk to me about my son's schoolwork? Yes. Um, this is a portfolio of all the work he's doing in writing, English, math, art, music, and social studies, as well as the new science program we've started. You can have this as a copy if you'd like to go over it on your own, but let me just give you a summary. You know, Ms. Robbins, before we start, I just want to say thank you so much uh, to you and all the other teachers who really helped Walt out with his learning disability. You know, my wife and I we were so worried that uh, he would be lost, you know, because I remember kids when I was younger who would play around and run around because, you know, they couldn't read. Right. Well, our reading specialists have always done the best that they can. But now with the extra resources and the latest technologies and techniques and reading methods, we're able to detect reading problems a lot earlier in students and get them caught up to speed before they get too far behind. Like this? Oh, yes. Um, this is the Tale of Two Cities project. And Mr. Mann, he used to use a lot of the old test prep methods in teaching but he got a lot of good suggestions from the master teachers. Oh. So he used the Charles Dickens novel 
to illustrate the French and American revolutions, and he had your son and the other classmates do a paper together on it. What's the story about? It's about um, an English family, and they get involved in the French Revolution, and also the Reign of Terror, where a lot of aristocrats were killed. Wow. The, the French Revolution, was that, was that like the American Revolution? <clears throat> The French Revolution was actually modeled after the American Revolution. And a lot of historians say that without the American Revolution, the French one may have never happened. Oh, and what's this? Ah, so your son and the other classmates went to the Museum of the City of New York. And there it was a field trip to gather some background. The art teachers show them the different costumes worn in those days in both France and America. And some of, the, some of the students began to work on costume design. The music teacher played the different kinds of music that they heard in those days. And that led to the study of the history of American music, which included the Scotch-Irish music, Black, and Latino music. And some of the students even decided to pick up musical instruments. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, this is too much for me to oh, take wait, wait, all wait. in. But I have so much more. In social studies, they learned about the Declaration of Independence, as well as the, the Bill of Rights for Man. And also this is why my wife has to call <laughs> Walt to, re to remind him to come to supper. This is what mm. he's been doing? All this time, I thought he was upstairs doing his video games. <laughs> Well, let me show you what your son was working on. Here are some, some images that he collected from the internet on the Reign of Terror in France. He, um, he used this in his project for the unit. I also think he told me he watched Tale of Two Cities on the computer. Wow. Anyways, Walt is doing very well in all of his classes. And it's because he's interested in what he's learning. Miss Robbins, you are be you are to be commended. I mean, really, this is really great. And uh, wow, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you. Sure. Well, I hope that Walt still enjoys. I I know he's gonna enjoy our next unit. We're doing. We're gonna read the play A Raisin in the Sun, and we're also gonna be watching excerpts from the film and learning background on uh, the time period uh, this, of the Civil Rights Movement. You know, whatever you're doing with Walt is truly great. And I know this because he said to me that you're his favorite teacher. <laughs> Seems to me like you're teaching the kids in a way that it's fun and they're able to get things that are hard very easy. So thank you so much. Sure. And Mr. Watson, that's what we call education. <laughs>